Okay, we got ourselves a food packet, long range patrol, chicken with rice, menu number eight, packed by the Seal Bag Company, Rochester, New York. This thing was packed between 1976 and 1978. I don't know the specific date because they didn't put lock codes on these things back at that time on the LRPs. And the only reason why I figured out that much on the date was because the stock photos I was able to find from Natick Food Labs, the company that makes all these US military rations. I saw some that I believe were from November 12th, 1976, if I'm not mistaken. And then there were some from, it just said 1978 for some others. And they were all the same olive drab green repeating text. There's one, two, three, four of the um, repeating text. So let's check this thing out and see how it held up. Smells like cardboard in there. And we got this accessory packet with a chocolate fudge bar, cocoa beverage, matches, coffee, creamer, sugar. All right. And this, protected with that cardboard sleeve to prevent pinholes on the main entree. Your toilet paper was separate from the accessory packet. Kind of unusual. That's how these old LRPs were. Old school spoon. Ah, look at that. And it feels a little loose. Um, see that? That's not a good sign at all. Um, check that out though. Yeah, that's pretty sketchy right there. I think there was a pinhole anyway. Oh boy, that's not good. When it's loose like that, um, there's still air in there, okay? That is not a good sign. So, we'll see how that held up. And here's your cardboard sleeve. Seems like it didn't do a lot of good, or they just didn't vacuum seal it properly to begin with. I've had this happen once before with an early 80s beef hash a couple years ago. I opened the thing up, and I couldn't find a pinhole on it. It was loose like this and it rehydrated and it was flat i ate it and got a little bit sick got the sweats anyway all right let's get this out on a tray nice all right so we're first going to start with this chicken with rice check this thing out i'm not liking this yeah, no vacuum hiss it's really a no-go i'm not oh it smells rancid and Foul. Oh man, that's a shame. Oh, it smells terrible. It's definitely not edible. Oh, it's totally not edible. And it's like stuck in there. Oh, and it's like these weird, it's like glue. I don't know what that is. You can't even get it out. It's literally like glued in there. Who packed this anyway? Oh, Oregon freeze dry. Well, that's your mountain house meal. That's a division of Mountain House. I think they're like the main division of Mountain House. Oh, that just smells so stale. Like, just... Oh, it smells like chemicals and stale. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's disgusting. Like, I don't even think it's safe to, like, add... Oh. It's so nasty. It's, like, real sticky with this weird residue oh wow tons of I don't know if you can make that out but that's tons of dry mold it's not supposed to have trust me okay this is oh, oh god Ugh. when something smells like that I'm getting off the tray yeah I've never run into an LRP this just go oh oh getting this out of here yeah what a shame I've never run into an LRP like that I mean the beef hash from the early 80s that I opened up that wasn't good anyway it wasn't like that all right oh jeez this whole thing the heck happened with this it's this is fudge bar I'm telling you, oh it just smells like motor oil and rancidity if that makes any sense the rest of this looks like it all kind of stuck together oh geez and then 
This turned into one hard. This is the worst LRP I've ever. Like. Yeah, that's no good. Oh my gosh, even the coffee's no good. Oh. Yeah, look. It just broke open. I'm telling you that's not good. That's. That's awful. Alright. Chocolate fudge, no good. Coffee, that is like the first time in a long time I've come across bad coffee instant type 1. Or, well, this is, yeah, type 1, style 1, composition 2. Actually, that is the first time I ever come across that not being good. What a shame. This thing's really not turning out. Well, this one might be alright. I don't know. Let's see. That's a real shame. I've never come across an LRP in this bad a condition. Alright, let's get this hydrated. What the heck? These things are supposed to hold up better than this. I mean, at least to my experience, I mean, I don't know. Jeez. Yeah, that's fine. Well, at least something held up in this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please tell me the sugar's okay. Hey, cough, uh, the creamer, yeah, creamer's no good. Here, I'll, we'll, we'll check all this out in a sec, but I'm gonna, I need some coffee after all this. Oh man. Alright. Well, at least that's good. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that is like, some of my favorite ration coffee right there. Well, the matches are still good, I can tell you that right now. Let's just try to match for no reason. They're all this mess. There you go, look at that. Some things never change. You can definitely count on DD Bean and Sons military ration matches. You know, unless they actually get soaking wet, then you can't count on those things for anything. Alright, oh, 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 gosh, it turned into a, ugh. it doesn't smell bad, but you know it's, that's not creamer anymore, what, what the heck, it's like a weird, little beige colored, I don't know, it just looks like a nasty little, I don't know, yeah, this is the worst LRP I've come across yet. Oh, jeez. What is that? Separated fat? Yeah. It looks so good, but I'm telling you, it's going to taste so evil. I've come across these things before. Oh, whoa. This thing's like real firm. Smells like motor oil and rot, and I'm not. It's going to coat my throat with a rancidity that it's going to take literally like gargling like four ounces, one ounce at a time of mouthwash just to get out. I'm not putting myself through it. Been there, done that. All right, look, look. Oh, gosh, look at the cocoa. The cocoa is not good, trust me. Like, if I ingested this, it would also, speaking of coating your throat, with a burning sweet rancidity. That's just awful. Well, anyway, sorry, guys. This one didn't turn out. This is Steve1989 off MREinfo.com, and... Well, what did we learn here? We learned that, oh gosh, look at this piece. We learned that LRPs don't always hold up. It's kind of hollow. Let's try that outer chocolate. Hmm. Uh. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. It's an inner part that's even worse, but oh, I just took a tiny piece and, oh, I need coffee in some type one. All right. Not too cool. Sorry about that. See ya.